It is a very interesting day for the wrestling video game community as apparently leaked information has provided that WWE 2K22 will feature the return finally of GM mode. Is this real? Is it not? I don't know. It hasn't, I guess, been conf officially confirmed by 2K, but all the sources are pretty reliable and it's pretty much all signs pointing to GM mode returning in WWE 2K22. So I'm going to read the initial article and then give my thoughts on it. So without further ado, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow me over on Instagram at Noah Nation Vlogs and check out NoahNationShop.com and let's get in to this video. What's up Nation, Noah here back again and like I said we are going to be talking about WWE 2K22 and the return of General Manager Mode. Now full disclaimer, I will be uploading this video twice on uh, my normal channel, the Noah Nation channel that you're watching this on, uh, at least at first right now. And then later uh, in the day I'm going to be posting on my Noah Nation Gaming YouTube channel. I won't be doing that all the time, um, I'm simply just doing it in this case to help promote my gaming channel, which I'm not posting a lot right now because it's not necessarily gaming season and I fully expected that but as the months go on as we get into the second uh, or like I guess you could say last part of the year I will be posting a lot more over there so go check out Noah Nation Gaming and obviously if you're watching this at the later time on the Noah Nation Gaming YouTube channel then make sure you like comment and subscribe and go check out the normal channel as well if you're not already but uh yeah just want to throw that out there in case anybody's wondering why this video is uploaded twice on two different YouTube channels but anyways information dropped today over on Twitter that GM mode is returning for WWE 2K22. And like I said, reliable sources have posted this. Uh, Fightful has posted this. And then the guy who apparently originally that I saw at least leaked uh, or broke this information, whatever you want to say, I think used to work for Fightful or something like that. Don't give, uh, you know, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's what I saw. Uh, and again, this hasn't been officially confirmed from 2K, but probably won't be officially confirmed from 2K till December, January, when they actually start making the push towards uh, the March release date for WWE 2K22. But he, uh, Mike Stroll on Twitter, posted today, breaking news, GM mode is returning for WWE 2K22. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to read the full um, article, which I have not read yet, so this is going to be the first time I'm reading it as well. And then I'll come back on here and give my thoughts on uh, everything that we read and GM mode returning for WWE 2K22. All right, so let's get into this article. So first things first, uh, I'm basically starting from the top, and I'm honestly just going to put some, you know, images on the screen right now. But here we go, and I quote, uh, this is from Mike Stroll over on Sports Gamers Online, and I'll put the uh, link to this uh, article that I'm uh, reading right here in the description box below. But here we go, WWE 2K22 may not be coming out until March 2022, but that doesn't mean news isn't going to make its way out. In this case, the news involves something that fans have been waiting for over a decade after last appearing in WWE 2K, or excuse me, in WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, GM Mode is set to make its long-awaited return to the WWE games lineup in WWE 2K22. Sources have told me that GM Mode has a or has long been a desire of the development team, in addition to the fan base. With the game taking a year off in 2022, thank God it needed it. Uh, that was me saying that, not the article. Uh, it allowed the team uh, that perfect that excuse me. It allowed the team the perfect opportunity to bring it back into the mix. Um, and I quote uh, from this article: "It was a top priority." One source said the fans clearly wanted it, and the team knew that they add or that they add the ammo to get it uh, approved and um, and in in the video game. Excuse me. Uh, GM mode, continuing with the article, GM mode has been replaced by universe mode, uh, which gave players the ability to fantasy book an entire company from shows to rosters to logos. You can do almost any uh, anything you can think of. Almost. The biggest complaint was the lack of progress tracking or purpose, uh, which is very true. You know, you can do a lot in universe mode, but none of it really matters in the end. It's just kind of, you know, exhibition for fun. Uh, whereas GM mode was always purpose driven with the various objectives to achieve. Universe mode, universe mode, excuse me, is a large open-ended sandbox. While the former uh, had its limitations, the ability to manage contracts, injuries, steal superstars from the other show, and more had a lasting appeal to many who enjoyed the ratings-based challenges. Uh, this, the, excuse me, the mode within WWE 2K22 has been tested by multiple people with feedback received uh, consistently. According to one person, uh, it's aiming to be deeper than anything fans could have expected from a return like this. I assume more, you know, details and objectives and stuff like that uh, than the previous versions in past video games. 
it's going to become the most played mode in the game. I can say that with certainty. Uh, sports gamer gaming, excuse me, gamers online uh, was told. Another source went even further. The mode will sell this game. As far as what the mode uh, entails fully, that information wasn't provided at the time of conversation. Official details are expected when 2K makes the full reveal of features uh, this coming January. So that is the whole article from again uh sports gamers online from mike straw and uh that was the initial article i saw there's probably been you know tons more out there now but this all sounds great you know this is obviously a very basic you know not a lot of information um article is basically just saying hey it's coming back and it's more detailed than ever and listen that's great you know this is something that i've talked about in videos before here on the channel this is something i've talked about online this is something about this is something excuse me that people have been talking about for years and why was gm mode so popular for many reasons i just said it gave you objectives it gave you things to do universe mode got very stale over the years because one they stopped updating it um and even when they did update it it was very cheesy corny stuff you know that honestly just felt like real life wwe and the point of honestly playing a wwe video game uh, at least for me a lot of the times was to not actually feel like real life wwe or at least to make a completely better in my eyes version of the wwe than what we see on television especially these days so you know it just got very repetitive and very boring they stopped you know really making additions to that mode there was no objectives it was basically just exhibitions for fun if it was fun for you and it stopped being fun uh very quickly you know after the video game was released every year so gm mode um with you know coming back and hopefully just replacing universe mode as a whole because that's really if you're gonna have one no one's gonna bother with the other and somebody might say well i like universe mode more than i like gm mode hey that's fine everybody's got their own opinions but if you can only pick one mode to be in there let's be honest the vast majority is picking general manager mode because there's objectives because there's things to accomplish because you actually have to be strategic and make sure you know remember to sign these contracts or re-up these contracts or they might this person let's say you know back in the day you'd have to make sure you re-sign the undertaker before his contract you know expired or he'd go into free agency and then you know damn well the other show is going to pick him up you can do trades at any time of the year um you know the uh, ratings matter match uh, ratings matter uh, you know contracts matter all this with superstar morale mattered you had to so much different things uh through the gm mode that you had to really think about it you know gm mode you know sure it wasn't as detailed uh when you in the hindsight of things when you look at games today like nba 2k 22 and things they'll do for you know their gm their gm modes whatever they're called like my league and you know other you know franchise modes and stuff like that in sports video games sure in hindsight all these years later it's not that detailed but there's still what for the time was a lot of different stuff to you know participate in general manager mode the draft obviously was a huge fun factor and uh, you know obviously you know forget what nxt is or is about to become these days like just talking overall like i've been talking about the last time when i made a gmo video which was like b back in april or may just talking about why it should come back the opportunity and, and uh, is really bigger than ever like you can do raw smackdown maybe you can add nxt in there as well i really don't even think it's necessary i think you just do raw and smackdown you'll be fine um but i think the option to do either two shows or three shows in the draft you know initially would be great um and then obviously you know there's been a ton of releases and who knows what the roster is going to look like but you're still going to have a pretty good roster to choose from you know it's it's might be you know spread a little thin depending on you know who who ends up in the game and who doesn't uh kind of like how 2008 was when you know you had raw smackdown and ecw in general manager mode and there really wasn't enough talent to go around there'd be more talent in you know this day and age but i'm just bringing up the thing uh there's just so many opportunities for to take that old gm mode uh and to incorporate it into a, this day and age wwe but make it better and yeah i don't know why it took so long to bring it back and like i said you know this is something they supposedly wanted to bring back for a while and with the year off since they didn't produce wwe 2k 21 um it gave them time to do so so hey great um in my opinion that just kind of shows that yearly releases are not the way to go it's basically just rushing out a video game every year it's stopping you know these games from being as good as they possibly can because they have to rush out a video game every year um it just shows you know with that year off what they're able to do if this all ends up being officially confirmed by 2k you know in the winter time in december january when we start getting information towards uh 2k 22 most likely january you know around the royal rumble time but listen man gm mode was my favorite general or excuse me my favorite game mode ever in WWE video games like I, I liked season modes and the road to wrestlemanias over the years as well those were very fun there was something to do to bring you back replayability in the video game but gm mode like 
replayability was always there. Fun factor was always there. Having to actually think about what you're doing and be strategic and, you know, have objectives and rewards was all there. You know, it, it was the best video game uh, or best game mode, in my opinion, uh, to ever be put in any WWE games. It was my favorite game. And it's something that I've been clamoring for for a very long time. And a lot of other people, you know, are as well. So if this ends up being confirmed, I'm all for it. If not, then uh, <laughs> what a bust, honestly. Like, WWE 2K22 was already a disappointment when, you know, we found out we weren't going to be getting it in the fall and we were going to have to wait till the springtime, which honestly overall makes sense because it's more closer to the WWE's, you know, supposed, you know, year, uh, year end and year start. Um, I guess you could say with WrestleMania, you know, kind of being that year end for WWE and then the next night, you know, being like the fresh year or whatever. So, you know, some things about it make sense. Hopefully it'll be more updated than it usually is uh, with superstar looks and arenas and stuff like that. That all remains to be seen, you know, how it's going to play out, you know, and how things are going to be different from the fall to the springtime uh, when it comes to release date. But hopefully that little bit of extra time will be worth the wait because if they just, you know, release this video game in, you know, March of 2022 and it's career mode or my career mode and it's an updated universe mode and it's, you know, a, a new towers mode or some shit like that. Like if this is basically just a, 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 a WWE 2K19, 2K20 type of game, when it releases in March, huge bust. What a disappointment. Like, why did you waste your time? Honestly, like this game, when it comes out, needs to be an absolute banger of a video game. You need GM mode in there. Uh, I'm not a big My Career guy at all, but I understand the appeal. So, you know, obviously you'll probably have that in there. Online needs completely revamping. It needs to be completely redone. There's so much stuff that needs to be redone, taken out, added to this video game. Like this needs to be a completely new wwe game that we have gotten in the past and obviously you can bring back old things that worked in the past if it ain't broke don't fix it it wasn't really broke back then sure it may it might have you know needed some additions and some changes but it was always a great game mode regardless of that so bringing back old stuff like this making it better is only going to make the game better and i just you know hope that's the uh, the mindset for the overall game you know uh, overall like i was trying to say you know we can't just have a 2k19 2k20 type of game when this game releases in in, in uh, March of 2022, excuse me, this needs to be a completely fresh, completely new WWE video game, and uh, hopefully it'll be worth the wait, and hopefully it'll still be fun because real life WWE, uh, and everybody has their opinions, but it's not very fun. I can't stand it. I have, you know, I can't remember the last time I watched it. Don't know when the next time I will watch it, but I'll always stick around for the video game. There's two things that keep me a little bit glued in to WWE in 2021, and that's I'm still a collector of wrestling action figures, you know, pops and all that good stuff. You know, I'm still a collector, and I still have interest in the video game. So I want those two things to be great. I can always rely on the action figures, but the video game I haven't been able to rely on in a very, very, very long time. So I'm hoping in March of 2022, when WWE 2K22 drops, I hope we have GM mode, and I hope the rest of the game is as good as it possibly can be. Because if not, then why did you waste your time, and why did you make up a new video game? So, that is all I got for you today. Those are my thoughts. That's the news. Is GM mode coming back in WWE 2K22? It seems like it is, but everything is technically speculation and whatnot until it officially gets confirmed by 2K. So, that all remains to be seen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Leave your thoughts down below. What do you guys want to see in WWE 2K22? Are you excited for GM mode possibly coming back? And, uh, you know, just leave your thoughts overall. So let me know down below. Again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Go follow me over on Instagram at Noah Nation Vlogs. And go check out my website, NoahNationShop.com, where you can get some sick-ass merch like this. Toy Collector merch, Toy Hunter merch. I even got a Noah Nation gaming sticker over there, so you guys can put that in your laptops and all that good stuff. Go check it out, guys. Uh, thank you very much for tuning into this video butchering the ending i was going good there but i butchered the ending <laughs> but anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one peace